Hi everyone, it's Janine from the Little Nuns Room Kitchen. So this is part two of James Martin's virtual masterclass. So I've just gone through it. Um, am I looking, <laughs> do I look okay? Um, uh, right, what can I say? So there was a technical hitch, I don't wanna be negative, but there was a technical hitch at the beginning, which meant that some of the um, dessert like the creme pat which is actually quite it's not technical but it kind of is um some people missed out on that and um it was off for about 10 minutes and my friend one of my friends is also doing the masterclass, and she's texting me because she's never made a creme pat before going how do i make a creme pat so i'm looking up online whilst i'm making it because i remember i i have watched james cook for years i mean like the only way I was able to do this, I think, is because I've watched him. I understand it. And I don't mean that horribly, James, um, or, or, you know, at all to any of the production company, because there's always something that's going to go wrong with these online vir virtual masterclasses. You know, it's a new thing. That's what happens. Every single thing that I've looked at online over the last like few months, there's always been a technical hip hiccup. There always is. And James is like in the middle of Hampshire. They're, they're not doing it streaming via TV. It's very different. And also they record it and then replay it. So this is live, this is live, live, live. Um, so yeah, so anyway, so the beginning was a bit of a hiccup. Now I can imagine that anyone who's like a beginner chef or someone that isn't so confident might have lost confidence at that point. Um, but then also you've got someone coming around that you've got to feed for dinner. So you've really got to kind of push the barriers here and, um, and push through because obviously you want to feed stuff. But there were some comments going on saying, oh, I'm giving up, I want my refund, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I was just trying to ignore the comments and just adding things like, now I know how Goulston feels where he's on a telly when James is shouting instructions at him at the same time because you're working at James's pace. And I mean, that is freaking fast. It is, it's ready, steady for cook fast. Um, I kept up with most of it. The only but I didn't keep up with was, was the chicken. So when he was portioning the chicken, I've seen him do it on TV before. It was very, very exciting um, to actually be doing it. But I only got, literally, I got two legs. <laughs> and... <laughs> two lovely legs and um and i've got a torso let me just open the fridge because i just it was too quick it was too quick so like i've got my my little chicken torso there whatever crown the crown but there's still the um the wings on it because i just i literally got got completely lost so those kind of skills i i just feel like fundamentally that, that those kind of skills are um very advanced even again it's easy to james but like it's advanced so you're kind of going from simple stuff to really really hard stuff and i used to work in a kitchen when i was acting like as an actor way back in the day i'm used to pressure i'm used to being like i'm used to doing 50 million things at once and you know i was buzzing but even i was i was really stretched i was really stretched but but you know all of that aside i have got the most beautiful even though it's probably a bit cold now i like hot food but you know this is the first time and you know i'm gonna do this again and it'll be hot and i can serve it to whoever um so I've got beautiful halloumi starter. I mean, it's stun it's beautiful. I'm so excited about eating that. And I've got a little one for my um flatmate because again, it was all quite quick, so I had to like it, you know, a little bit for him. Um I've got my beautiful chicken which is all ready to go, uh, which is like um I, I haven't taken I haven't I didn't even have time to taste. I mean, like James James, you've got to slow down a bit, man. Just a bit, just to say, you know, taste. And again, it's his first time of doing this as, you know, obviously not live, but I mean, his first time of doing it. And also like when I'm teaching in my sessions, you can see people, you can see how people are getting on, you know, you can see how they're, how, whether they're struggling or not, but he's doing it completely blind. Um, but yeah, so here's my chili jam. It never, you see, I even lost a bit of faith because that never set. And I don't know why. I might have measured out too much red wine vinegar thinking about it. I don't know, but it never set for me. And again, you know, I'm a good cook and I was a little bit disappointed. And that's the point where the eggs, you know, start to go on with the eggs. And oh my God, at the beginning, um, <laughs> it was just all a bit like, what's going on? Um, so yes, that's the chili jam and the halloumi. So I've got my chicken and I've got my pilaf rice again. Oh, look, mm, can you see? Yeah, you see, that looks really good. Again, I know... I know to stick a, um, a Tito on that. Again, that's not gonna be very hot right now, but you know, I can give it a blast in the microwave. Um, what else? I've got the um, strained, uh, I did cherries, sorry James, but I only had um, cherries and, uh, here's the pud, here's the pud. Oh, 
fresh raspberries and blueberries with creme pat. My, that's the worst creme pat I've ever made. But I think it's because I was under pressure. I now, what I love about this is I now get it. I feel like I get it. Like the people on Ready Steady Cook, people probably that's even more intense pressure because obviously you're talking to people on camera as well. So whilst you're cooking, you're talking, but I still think I could do it. Um, but with um, uh, with people on James' show that's cooking, like my friend Asma Khan, amazing, you know, um, from Darjeeling Express, you know, she's, oh my God, she's like so in charge and cooking and talking to camera. And, and even thinking of my, how I feel about James, um, he is, his, honestly, he, he's just highly skilled. I've always thought this of him, but I mean, highly skilled because on top of all these things of teaching, he's also interviewing people as he goes i mean like how many how many skills do you have to have to do this it's like a really incredible incredible thing that he does so i'm now going to take a little rest and eat my starter um i've got a really nice glass of wine i've cleared up the majority of the kitchen i'll put it put it back all to normal tomorrow um and i'm just gonna enjoy myself and then in a few minutes time i'm gonna be calling my friend paula who I haven't physically spoken to since university and she texted me today and said I'm also doing this tonight so we're gonna have a little zoom call and eat together and her boyfriend's there too although um uh yeah no it, it, there's not an old though it's fa fabulous so I'm very excited and um I hope you like these posts if you like please subscribe please follow and uh post to IGTV and um and yeah I would say um I would say that they definitely need to kind of rethink maybe like it should be a beginner's, you know, advanced or advanced course or something, because that for me was quite advanced. And if you, you know, I I know like when I'm teaching, if I've been in situations, you just keep going, you keep going. And that's obviously what James is doing. You know, that's his technique. You know, you just keep going, whatever. That's the that's TV. That's like teaching. That's, you know, you don't show fear. You just plow on through and he's like used to adrenaline but i'm i'm imagining that some people who were who are a bit more um you know have come into this thinking oh well, they're going to learn some skills today um i i don't know if they might have lost their confidence a bit and possibly even be a bit annoyed just i'm just being perfectly honest um because i always kind of pitch it from like the the kind of beginner levels i like to think what it would be like if i was a beginner and i think that that would have been too much for me but i'm in i've done it I had an evening with James. I'm going to eat and all is great. Okay, lots of love. Bye.